there's your mommy now. We thought you were alive. <laughs> oh, don't worry, honey. You're never going to lose me, I promise. No so way. <laughs> so, how are you doing? Nervous. Oh, no. <laughs> not me, not me. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, Reverend, what were you saying? <laughs> All you and Mrs. Lavery have to do is stand here on my right, relax, and enjoy yourself. No. I don't know about the relaxed part, but we will enjoy ourselves. <laughs> hey, hey, excuse me. Oh, sorry. Did the cake come? Huh? You know the cake, the cake that I had delivered, did it come? I don't know, I guess. I think so. Um, you together? <laughs> Big day, huh? Oh, my. It's one we yeah. remember for a long, long time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Here we go. Oh, my God. Here we are. Oh, darling. I don't know who is more beautiful, you or your baby. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not in the last few years. Two shot here. Three of you? One, two, and three. Why are they going to pour the water on her? <laughs> That's all right, BJ. That's a part of it. That's a symbol. What? Frisco, since you know better than I do, maybe you could explain that to your niece. Frisco? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Honey? Yes? Uh, see, what all of this is, is uh, it's a sign, you see, all of this stuff, because uh, that's why I'm here, and, and Aunt Felicia, and your mommy, and daddy, and all of our friends. You see, that that's what it all means, and your cousin Max. Huh? That, that's what happens, a sign. You understand? What? Uh, Tony? Well, look at me, you're doing great. Go on. <laughs> well, well, what we're doing is we're just, we're just raising our hands way up in the air like this, and we're going to welcome little Max into the world. You're saying, come on in, Max, and I'm going to be your buddy forever. You see, and that's why everybody's here, because the, all her life we're going to protect her, and we're going to help her, and don't look at the camera, look at me. See, take a picture now. She's smiling at you. There you go. <laughs> huh? you, you know what I'm saying now? Because we're all going to welcome her into the world like that. Do you know what I mean? What? Um, Felicia, maybe you could uh, help her out with this, huh? What Frisco's trying to say is that wherever we go, whatever we do, we'll always be there for her. Right. What if she spills her milk? Well, then, then we wipe it up, just like your mommy and daddy do for you. What if she doesn't want to go to bed? <laughs> Reverend, I think it's time for you to take over, okay? <laughs> <laughs> if the guy parents will take their places. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, if she does, don't worry. If I can't talk over her, I don't belong in this land of business. <laughs> well, it's not business. Welcoming new life into this community is a pleasure. That's why we're all here. Felicia. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Mr. Hello. Donnelly? Mm. Oh, hello. Just, just I miss you. Right now, you two are the most important people in this child's life, next to her mother and her father. God willing, Frisco and Felicia will enjoy many happy years with their daughter. But by your presence here, and your willingness to accept the responsibility, you are entering into a spiritual relationship with her. By its very essence, it will lead you, should it fall to you, to guide, to protect, and to love her, not only in matters of faith, but in all that concerns her well-being. You see, you may be called upon to love and to serve her as you would your own. Do you understand this? And do you accept that responsibility? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Now, by what name will the child be baptized? Mariah Maximiliana. As we welcome Mariah Maximiliana, let us pray. Think of how God loves us. We're all God's children. That is what we are. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May I? Ladies and gentlemen, may I formally introduce you the newest member of the Jones family, Mariah Maximiliana Jones. <laughs> Better known as Max. <laughs> oh, a side car, if I may be permitted. Although we haven't been fortunate enough to have her father do it. <laughs> With the boy she's inherited, may she grow up to join the church choir. <laughs>
Absolutely. You can count on it. Thank you. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Hey, Reverend, you do good work. Thanks. Well, from what I see, you do too. <laughs> I meant what I said about the choir. Now, rehearsals every Monday. We'd love to have you. Okay. Thank you. Remember that. You know, it's amazing what a big push a little prayer can have. I'll start working on that. <laughs> You're welcome anytime. And little Max can cry through my sermons any day. Uh -huh. He was an absolute angel yeah. through the whole ceremony. Quite a trooper, I'd say, huh? Uh, Frisco, this was a, a real honor. Thanks, Sean. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I didn't do anything. I didn't want to do a You look very pretty. Work. Thank you. Did you understand what went on? Sure, did you? That's <laughs> <laughs> our girl, huh? Yeah, what about our guy? Come here. How do you feel, honey? I feel as proud as you are. Oh, that might be impossible. I love you, dear. I love you too. Mother of my unborn child. Okay, everybody, to the brownstone. Have a little party, a little celebration. We've had our christening. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. This is for family and friends. And you're neither. Frisco. No, wait, 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 wait. What just happened there? Oh, 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 welcome oh, to the party. Oh, oh, I hate to say this, but the party's already started. <laughs> Listen, I'd like to apologize for my out outburst earlier. I hope you'll all forgive me. Hey, enough said. Agree? No problem. Good. Well, the party then. Let it begin and enjoy ourselves, shall we? Well, we actually started without you, sweetheart. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So much for me, huh? No, no hold on. Ah, oh, let's go look at our I presents, like shall we? Absolutely. I'm so glad we got this. <laughs> you think that I should make that? Yeah. Well, oh, hello. 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 Me? Oh, um, this is Edge. Hi, I'm Frisco. Frisco Jones, pleasure to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure to meet you. Sean, yeah, I'm uh, Sean Donnelly, my Sean. wife Sean. Tiffany. How do you do? Edge is a video maker. I didn't know if you guys were aware of that. I saw some of his work in Europe when I was over in France. He did those videos Robin has. That's uh, oh, Robin's been. She's been talking nonstop about you. Is that right? <laughs> yes, actually, you know, she said those videos that you let her use really helped in her dancing. Oh, well, I don't know about that. I think she inherited most of her talent and her beauty from her mom here. Oh. Well, why don't you two join us? Really? Oh, ah. no, it's fine. Oh, absolutely. we'd love to. Thanks a lot. Yes. Right oh, over. Good, good. Thank you. I've had most of my music, and for quite some time now, I've had one specific inspiration, but I now have a new inspiration. So, uh, I wrote this song for the two special women in my life.
think I'm losing my mind Looking at strangers without any faces Well, I know what they hide Oh, and he and Anna make such a cute little couple. Oh, I know. I think they look so good together. Yeah, will you two please slow down? I mean, Anna hardly knows this guy. And you, you two practically got him married already. <laughs> well, worse things could happen. Besides, I don't even think uh, he's her type. Oh, he's beautiful, talented, and fun. What more could she ask for? Oh, don't you think he's a little young for her? Oh, darling, please. Younger men have known the benefits of older women for a long time. Uh, I think they she likes him. I think she likes him a lot. And she's hardly said two words to the guy. She likes him. How would you know? Well, if she acted overly interested, she wouldn't be interested. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You never let a man know that you're interested, then he'll lose interest. Exactly. Exactly. I'm certainly glad I'm not dating anymore. So am I, darling. <laughs> You're awfully quiet. What's the matter with you? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking about uh, heading home. About that time, huh? Oh, that's a great idea. Okay. I'll go get Max in the I want to go with you and get some baby face. Sean. Yeah. Did you get all those? Listen, uh, I need your help. Oh, just don't ask me to explain women to you because I can't, okay? Well, actually, I just need help about one of you. Rita, what about her? I want you and Anna to check up on her, see what she's been doing since my father died. I ask why? Just a hunch right now. Just leave it at that, okay? Yeah, sure. And one other thing. Don't tell Felicia or Bobby. Okay? And don't mention Rita Lloyd's name around Felicia. I don't want anything reminding her of her. Understood. Nothing in writing either. You know she's got eyes like a hawk. Oh, I thought I'd call her up and ask her to make me up a pink file with the name Reed on it. I just want to make sure that Felicia doesn't know anything about it, that we nail it and nip it in the bud. It's going to be nailed. Don't worry about it. I thought you swore off. What? Keeping secrets from Felicia's, I recall they always backfired. Well, those were for selfish reasons and different secrets. Why different? I am just trying to protect the Brownstone. I'd like to keep the Jones clan away from Rita Lloyd, if anything. Uh-oh. Hi. Hello. Hi. 
what are you doing here? I was just leaving, as a matter of fact. Answer the question. No, no, no not a word until I get a look at my beautiful gotcha. <gasps> Hello, precious. You just you wanted to spoil my surprise, today. didn't you? Yes, you did. No. What surprise? Coming back to work. Why, that's great. So when do you plan on starting? Now. Oh, Frisco, you, 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 you son of a gun. You didn't say a word to me well, about I this. Know, she... I missed you, honey. I'm Ask glad you're coming you. back. Oh. Oh. Sure you have. You too, sweetheart. Good to see you. What are you doing here? I was snooping around. I just want to make sure everything is safe and sound for Max, that's all. I know, I was being overly protective again. I'm sorry. Are you sure that's all it was? Well, of course. Give me. There are far worse things to be than to be overly protective. Oh, I'm glad you see it that way. Mm. I'm gonna make you mine tonight. No, 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 keep holding on. If you say. think you're going to show up. I don't know why you'd think that. that. Should I check in? Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just getting a little anxious, huh? There's two of us. What is it? What do you got? I got what I got. You know, I don't like any of this. And I like myself even less for agreeing to investigate Rita for you. Now, I told you up front I didn't want to be put in the middle of having to lie to Felicia. So? So that's exactly what I did. I lied to her this afternoon and I hated it. Well, thank you for covering for me. You mean lying for you. Sean, just tell me what you've got, please. What is it? Financial report. Seems that Rita is not wanting for cash. Yeah, so I see. You'll notice. Same few men are making monthly deposits. It's all under her account. Not too shabby either, huh? Well, she's a private nurse. These guys could be patients, right? Well, that's what I thought, too, at first, until I checked it out. And? Men are very healthy and very rich. I knew it. She's the same high-class whore she always was. Now, Frisco, just don't upset Fogey Show with this, all right? I know exactly how I want to handle this situation, Sean. Sean. Felicia left. She took Max with her. She what? The marriage is over. She left. <sighs> left you? Yep. Yeah, but, but, but why? Why would she do that? I mean, what'd she say to you? I don't know, Sean. Everything just... Uh, it just got out of hand, that's all. All right, what started it then? Rita, my attitude toward... What do you mean, your attitude toward Rita? I mean, you accepted Rita. You told me that you and, and Felicia made up uh, as soon as you explained to her why I had Rita checked out. Well, that's Rita, exactly right? what I thought, and that's what she said to me, but... She just blew. Oh, I know, man. I really did it this time. I really did it. She... You didn't no, do well, anything. Right, She's I running was... away from me, not oh, you. Oh, yeah, but I was part of it. And I betrayed her trust. That's what I did, yeah. You were doing me a favor. You know, Frisco, I, I, I think of her as a daughter, and, and I lied to her. Sean, 
All right, where'd she go? Where'd she go? Maybe I can talk some sense into her, huh? Felicia and the baby are on their on the way to Texas as we speak. For her grandmother's. How long ago did she leave? I have no idea. What's the license of the car? John, don't worry about it. It's not going to do any good. It's Felicia's own car. It's also her baby. She can drive that child anywhere she wants to. I guess you're right. I guess I... I uh, well, we got to think of something, right? Have you had your breakfast yet? I can't eat. Well, at least you can do is have a cup of coffee with me. I'll get your jacket and I will go over to Kelly's, huh? Okay. Hit me. Uh, what just hit you? I may never see my daughter again. Uh, Frisco, where are the uh, cups and saucers? Uh, the cabinet room. Oh, okay. Sean, I can't do it. I, I can't go to this club and sing. Who am I kidding, huh? I mean, oh, this no, all no, 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 come on. Come on. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Have some Look, I figure if you uh, go to the club and sing, it'll take your mind off your, off your trouble. Oh, I'm sorry, they're just going to have to do with the radio tonight. Oh, that's terrific. I know I only have Felicia mad at me, now I have the club mad at me, too. Sean, it's not entirely your fault. I know it's not entirely my fault. It's not your fault either. And look, I'm your friend, okay? So you don't have to go on with the show tonight, as far as I'm concerned, okay? Thanks for understanding. Of course I understand. Our lives are not going to be the same without Felicia. Or my goddaughter. Oh, just the thought of that, just the sound of it, I... It's like putting a knife in my chest, them out there alone, me here. I may never get to see either of them again. I'm sorry, excuse me, Sean, excuse me. Sean's ready to cut his throat out there. That's not punishment enough. Well, what do you want him to do? Not just him, you. You both deserve to be punished for what you did. Well, I am suffering like crazy. Honest, I am. Now, come on, the joke's gone far enough, huh? I'm not so sure. Now, honey, if he beats himself up anymore, his chest will cave in. He feels that bad? Yes, and so do I, honest. Now, come on, you've made your point. Okay, we'll put him out of the bag now. Thank Let's you. go. Where did he go? I, I don't know. He would... It's a note. On my way to Texas to bring back Felicia and the baby. Oh. Well, it looks like our joke might have backfired, hmm? See that? Oh. I was too convincing. You would have been proud of me. I don't believe this. I never thought he would do this. Well, neither did I. Well, what are we standing here? We gotta go find him. The problem is we don't know how the far he went. Well, wait a minute, sweetheart. Listen, what about Max? We can't leave the baby back there. Who? Why? 
You know, the minute I saw this, I knew for a fact that Felicia was not going to be driving anywhere with Max. Gotcha. <laughs> Her idea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have you taste this first just to be on the safe side, huh? I wouldn't go quite that far to punish you. <sighs> Glad all is forgiven then. Mm -hmm. All is forgiven but not forgotten. You're still on my Z list. Mm. Give him a break, huh? You're on the list too. You both deserve a lot worse for what you did to Rita and me. Well, honey, no real harm was done. Only to your reputations. For a big-time detective and an ex-WSB head, your investigative abilities sure do stink. You want to hear more? Um, I've heard. Thank you. No, 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 no. Go ahead. I love looking foolish. Rita Lloyd is an animal rights activist. She has an animal shelter for little puppies and kittens. Her money goes for the cause, not for her body. Now, I told you not to jump to conclusions, didn't I? <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Animal activist. I guess that's a load off your mind, huh? Listen, if you get out there, don't worry. You might have a tendency to blank out. Oh, blank out? Yeah, well, if you forget something, don't panic. She's whatever. not going to forget. Well, it right? happens to everybody. Everybody gets stage fright every now and then, even me. If it happens, just remember, keep reminding yourself. Smile, everybody. Jeez. Hey, hey, listen, you guys. Go out and find your seats before they're taken, all right? I want to talk to my daughter. You're going to be absolutely wonderful. Yeah, go. We won't be able to make the cast party after the problem. Somebody do a shift. Okay, go, everybody. Get out there. I just want to 